MSDT Felina is a recent CVE that came out, and I'm, I know I'm late to the party to this. I think it was discovered last week, if you're watching this around the time of recording. And it's a very powerful vulnerability that you can exploit to gain code execution, you know, to spawn your beacon or whatever you need to do as a red teamer, especially, I think this will be very handy for you. If you're not too familiar, essentially this is exploiting the Microsoft Diagnostics tool. That's what MSDT stands for. And everyone watching is probably familiar with this application within Windows. So if you ever try to run a program and it crashed, and then this little diagnostics tool popped up and it said it's trying to troubleshoot the issue, detect the problem, you know, figure out why it crashed. That's what that application is used for. Now, what a lot of people don't know, and until recently this was not widespread knowledge, is that you can actually pass MSDT commands that are then executed on the machine. So why is this useful? Well, obviously me saying that is probably setting alarms off in your head, but Essentially, what we can do is have it run commands like, you know, connect to our, you know, spawn our beacon, you know, connect to our reverse shell, or maybe just spawn a calculator.exe or whatever we want to do, we can, we can do on the user's machine. Now, one of the most traditional ways to get that initial access as a red teamer is to do some kind of phishing campaign and have a malicious Word doc, right, to weaponize that Word document but that relies on a little bit from the user, right? We're relying on the user to enable the macro because typically you have a macro that will run and that's where your malicious code is. And it's not until the user clicks enable on that macro that your code is run. Now, this is a little bit different in the sense that you will be, that code will be ran as soon as the user opens the document. There's no need to enable anything or to give initial, you know, additional consent or permissions. As soon as you open that document, the user will be exploited. And so that is something that makes this so much more dangerous, right? Because we're actually exploiting MSDT and that's running automatically because they open the Word document, it crashes, the diagnostics tool runs, we pass that thing commands through our script and automatically we get that code to run. Now, as we speak, Microsoft is scrambling to patch this and find some kind of fix for it. And they're taking a while to do so. It must be pretty difficult for them to fix this one, but there is a chance that by the time you're watching this video, this is already patched. Of course, you'd be able to still exploit this in the older versions that don't have the patch. But yeah, just keep that in mind. Uh, things might change. Security is always changing. But as of time of recording, this is something you can exploit and I'll show you guys exactly how to do so in this video. And I definitely have to commend you if you're learning the cutting edge vulnerabilities that are coming out while you're pursuing cybersecurity because it can make your life so much easier. Let me just tell you, there's many times where I found a recent CVE and it helped me on a CTF. Actually, the fact that I have my current job right now, I have to owe a bit to keeping up with the current trends of cybersecurity because I was doing a technical challenge and I couldn't figure out the intended vector to exploit the server during that technical challenge, but I knew a recent vulnerability that just came out. I was able to leverage that to exploit the machine that was worth the most points in that challenge. So I really owe the fact that I have this amazing job that I absolutely love right now to the fact that I watch videos like this. So if you're in a similar situation, you're watching these videos, you're trying to level up, get that higher paying job, or just break into the industry, you're also gonna wanna arm yourself with the top 10 pen testing questions that you need to know to ace that interview in the first place so you can get to the technical challenge, right? And for that, I have in the description below, uh, I have that absolutely for free for you guys. So definitely go ahead and check that out. So let's just get right into it. So what we could do, first of all, is we can install, install Microsoft Office. Now, I learned about this through Network Chuck. I didn't know that you could go to this link and just install Office. I thought you'd have to have a subscription, but no, you could do this attack without having a Microsoft Office license whatsoever. Just go to this link. I'll put it in the description for you guys. And once you go here, we just hit uh, download manually and we get it to download. You see, I was testing this earlier. We'll just go ahead and run this and accept the agreement, continue. We'll just install it to the default location for now. And yeah, files extracted successfully. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and jump into the command prompt. 
and we'll make this larger for everyone here. And let's, uh, I think it should be in this current location. Yep, the setup.exe, that's what you're looking for here. We're going to we're gonna actually run that. So we'll just type setup, uh, setup.exe, configure, and then the XML file. And uh, yeah, don't forget the, uh, the slash, actually slash configure. And then we'll go ahead and run this. And it should go ahead and install Office 2021 Enterprise. So I'll kind of fast forward things through here. This is just a standard installation process and it does take quite a little bit to complete. So we'll reconvene. All right, so when you see the screen, it is successfully installed. So we just close out of this and we can close out of this as well. And now we should see we do have Microsoft Word. So type Word, see we have it there. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna actually download the exploit written by John Hammond. Uh, it's this repository here. I'll link that as well for you guys. MSDT Felina. And he even kind of demos it in the GitHub. He has some GIFs and stuff like that, shows you how to use it, and uh, some pretty good documentation on it as well. But of course, we're going to be demoing that on this video as well. So what I've done is I have an attack box, my Kali machine, where I already have this downloaded and everything like that ready to go. So I'll just show you guys right here. I have the repository cloned and I can run this against the target. So the first thing we are going to want to do, it's very simple to run this, just felina.py is all we really need. And by default, if I don't specify any flags, it's just going to spawn calculator as a proof of concept. So if I run this, you see here that it created maldoc in the current directory called felina.doc. So if I take a look, we see this doc here. And yeah, if I were to check the timestamp, we could see that that is a newly created document. So first thing we need to do is we need to actually get the file over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer the file. I'll just use Python to do that, keep things simple enough. And just check my IP address here. I'm looking for, in this case, I would be looking for the ETH0 address. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is open up another command prompt and just go ahead and do the file transfer. Let's go onto the desktop. We'll put it on the desktop and we'll go ahead and just transfer the file over. I'll just use certutil and I'll use uh, URL cache, split F, HTTP, IP address, and it was called, what was it called? Felina.doc, I believe. And let's see here. Oh, and somehow Windows Defender got turned on. I didn't like hard disable it on this yet. So no, no problem. We'll just do, go into Windows Security. So you might experience a similar issue. Just go into Windows Security. And I would definitely recommend doing this against the VM, not your uh, host machine, by the way. And then Manage Settings. And we'll just disable all this. I didn't, like, hard disable Defender on this machine yet. So let's go ahead and try this again. And here we go. Now, the real attackers in the wild, they're not using John Hammond's script, right? They actually, this is how it was found. It was found in the wild by malicious attackers. And obviously, they are probably using a bunch of stuff to bypass antivirus like Defender. So that's just something to definitely keep in mind as well. So don't think the Defender is going to protect you from this uh, if a real attacker is weaponizing this against you. Very important point here. So you see the document is now available here on the desktop. Let's go ahead and double click that and uh, see what happens. See, that is MSDT right there that you see the troubleshooter and boom, we have spawned the calculator app. Pretty awesome, right? So now the next thing that we should do is let's try to go a step further. Let's get a reverse shell. That's always fun to do, right? So, yeah, as you see there, no user interaction required aside from just opening the document, aside from just launching the document. We didn't have to enable macros. We didn't have to do any of that. That is what makes this such a dangerous 
attack. So let's regenerate this thing. Go over to this window here and let's tell it a reverse shell. Sure, we'll use 1337. Why not? Because we're all elite hackers here, right? And then the next thing that we'll do is, well, it created the maldoc. We're already hosting it. So we don't really need to do anything else. I'll just make sure this is copied to my clipboard and come back over here. And I could just up arrow this. Oops, not that. This command here to complete the transfer and double click to launch it. Once again, MSDT launches. And let's go ahead and check our shell. And boom, we see we have received a reverse shell. Who am I? We are a self-made user on the desktop here. So we could go into user. We could go to the directory we were just in. Desktop. We can go in there and we see the Felina doc. We could do whatever we want as the self-made user at this point. Pretty cool, right? So that is MSDT Felina. Let me know if you have any questions on that down in the comment section below. And hopefully this is easy for you guys to follow along. And if you want some more technical content, I have that on the screen for you right now as well. See you guys over in those videos. Thanks for watching.